I have a story about bedtime. And really, it's about being scared when it's bedtime. Has that ever happened to you? It happens to most kids and sometimes even to grown-ups. This book is called The Squeaky Door and it's by Margaret Reed MacDonald and the pictures are by Mary Newell De Palma. We can see there's a kid and a cat that's wearing a sleeping mask on its head <laughs> that are looking over at a door and there's a shadow on the wall that looks a little spooky. Sometimes if you hear noises at night, your imagination might try to play tricks on you. And I think that's what is what's gonna happen to this little guy. So on the end pages, they drew pajamas and slippers and toothbrushes and toothpaste because the story is about going to bed. Here's the boy brushing his teeth and there's a little kitty in a basket that we're gonna see later in the book. And the story starts right here. Little boy went to grandma's house to spend the night. And grandma said, I have a surprise for you. You get to sleep in the big brass bed all by yourself. But are you going to be scared? Little boy said, oh no, not me. Grandma tucked the boy in. She kissed the boy goodnight. What do you think will happen? I have a, I have a thought about what might happen. <laughs> now, when I go out and I turn off the light and I close the door, are you going to be scared? No, not me. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light. Click. She closed the door. Squeak. That's what this yellow word is saying. There's the squeak. Oh, the little boy began to cry. Doesn't the little boy look so tiny in that giant bed? Grandma ran back inside. Oh my goodness, were you scared? No, not me. Well, I think you were scared. How would you like to sleep with the cat? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Now he won't be alone. So Grandma brought the cat in from the cat basket. She tucked the cat in. She kissed the cat goodnight. She kissed the boy goodnight. Now, when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? Nope, not me. Look at the little kitty wearing a sleeping mask. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light. Click, she closed the door. Squeak! Mm. Wah! Wow! Oh my goodness! Were you scared? No, not me. How would you like to sleep with a dog? Yes, yes, yes. So, Grandma brought the dog in from the dog house. I guess the dog usually sleeps outside in that house that says Rex. Now the dog's excited to come in and they even gave the dog a sleeping hat. She tucked the dog in. She kissed the boy goodnight. She kissed the cat goodnight. She kissed the dog goodnight. Hmm, maybe that will take care of it. Let's see. Now, when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? No, not me. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light, 
Look, she closed the door. Squeak. Mm. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. Oh my goodness, were you scared? No, not me. I know. Would you like to sleep with a pig? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Bed is getting more full. So Grandma brought the pig in from the pig pen. First she had to give it a bath. And she even had pajamas for the pig. She tucked the pig in. She kissed the boy good night. She kissed the cat good night. She kissed the dog good night. She kissed the pig good night. Yuck. Now, when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? Nope, not me. Mm. You think? So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light. Click. She closed the door. Squeak. Woof, 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 woof. Oink, 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 oink. Oh, my goodness. Were you scared? No, not me. I have an idea. Why don't you sleep with the horse? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so Grandma went out to the stable and got the horse. She tucked the horse in. She had pajamas for the horse also. Then she kissed the boy goodnight. She kissed the cat good night. She kissed the dog good night. She kissed the pig good night. She kissed the horse good night. Now, when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? No, nope, not me. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light. Click, she closed the door. Look at the word, there it is. Squeak. No. <gasps> nay, 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 wah, wah, meow, woof, woof, oink, oink. Kaboom. That's what the red word says, kaboom. The bed broke. Oh my goodness, this will never do. This will never do. Hmm, now they really do have a problem. A broken bed. Well, first grandma put the horse back. She put the pig back. She put the dog back. She put the cat back. And grandma put little boy in bed with her and grandpa that night. Now everyone can sleep. And the next morning, Grandma got out her tool chest. She fixed that broken bed. Then she got out her oil can and she oiled that squeaky door. Squeak! Glub, glub, glub. Squeak! Glub, glub, glub. Squeak, squeak. Glub, glub, glub. And then when she opened and closed the door, there was no sound at all. Yes! Have you ever noticed that a door is attached to a door frame with something called hinges that are made of metal? So that is what she's oiling. That night, Grandma tucked the little boy in and she tucked the cat in and nobody else. Then, she kissed the boy good night. She kissed the cat good night. Now, when I go out and turn off the light and close the door, are you going to be scared? Nope, not me. So Grandma tiptoed out. She turned off the light. Click, 
she closed the door. She listened and she heard little boy snoring and she heard the cat snoring. And that's the story of Grandma, little boy, and the squeaky door. What do you think of that? That was funny that Grandma had all those animals come inside. It was a good idea. Sometimes, you know, being with someone else could make you less scared in the night. Or you could try and figure out the noise and fix that. And that's finally what they decided to do. I'm glad you came to Story today. I'll see you again on another day. Bye.